Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can generate a bill to the user. So let's suppose if I'm trying to buy any product like product 3 and if I'm just clicking on a buy now button. So in the left hand side section, we can just fill all the information alongside in the right hand side section. We can just uh, like we can just see the final amount that we have to pay. So this particular right hand side section we implemented in the last session. So if we just change the quantity, then total and grand total will also get updated. So if I just select three, then final amount will be three, four, five, zero. So this is the final amount that we have to pay. And again, if I just try to place any uh, contact numbers, something like this, and let me just click on the place order. So now that particular order will get placed. So if I just go to the MySQL and if I just try to select from order details, then let, let's try to find out the order that we just placed. So if you just see order number 23 that we just placed and the amount is 3450 and we can just say that name, address and status is as a placed. So we are able to see all the details that we have mentioned in the form. The next thing that we have to do is like as of now, when we click on the place order button, like this particular form gets cleared, but we are not be able to clear this particular um, like uh, total uh, bill or whatever we have in the right hand side section. So what we are going to do is whenever user is clicking on the place order button and if that order is getting placed successfully, then we are going to show one show one message to the user like your order is placed and it will be delivered in the four to five business days. So like we are going to show one confirmation to the user so that user can get to know that order is placed successfully and it will be delivered in a four to five days. So let's see how we can do this in this particular session. So let me just come to the VS code and over here, let me just try to open a terminal and let me just create one new component so let me just use npm run ng gc and let me just uh, give the component name as order confirmation like this and let me just wait till the component is created so now the component is created now let me just do one thing let me just first of all give a path for this particular component so let me just go to the app dot uh, app routing module ts file and over here we have already defined multiple paths so let me just do one thing let me just copy anything like let me just copy the path for by now or we can just create it quickly there is no any uh, big challenge to create it so let me just do one thing let me just give a curly bracket and then let me just give it as a path and path name let me just give it as a order confirm something like this then we have to use a component and component will be order confirmation component then we have to use a can activate as well because um, like we have used a uh, like auth guard previously and we have to just use that auth card for this particular path as well because uh, we want to show this confirmation only to the users so there is nothing uh, to show it to the admin or like only user can see this particular page so that is the reason we can just add the auth card as well so let me just use auth card and alongside we have to specify a roles like which roles can access this particular component so only user is the role which can access to this particular component so let me just use data and roles colon and we have to just give these particular uh, square brackets and then we have to specify the role so in my case role will be the user and u is a uppercase u so you can just check out over here so now we have defined a path as well next thing that we can just do is we can just go to the login uh, not login uh, we can just go to the buy product component so we can just go to the buy product component and let me just go to the html so if i just show you the place order button 
So if you just see like place order button is a submit button and when we click on the place order button then place order method gets called. So let me just try to open this particular uh, method or function in a TS file. So let me just go to the place order function. Okay. So in the place order function, what we are just doing is we are just sending the details to the API and we are getting the response. So if we get any successful response, then this particular block will get executed or else if at all we get any error, then this particular callback will get executed. So we are just trying to write our code uh, in this response block because if the call or order gets successfully placed, then and only then we want to show the message. So that is the reason we are just uh, using, like we have to write um, the logic over here. So for this, what we are going to do is, we have to just um, import a router and inject it as well. So let me just use private router, which will be of type router like this. And this particular router comes from over here, if you just see, like this particular router uh, comes from at the rate slash router. Now over here, let me just do one thing in a place order function. Let me just use this thought router dot navigate by URL or we can just use a navigate as well. And then let me just use um, the parameters. So in the parameter, it takes basically a path where we want to uh, go. So let me just use slash and let me just go to the routing module file and let me just copy this particular path and let me paste it over here something like this and make sure you are giving slash over here now let me just save all the changes and let me just start my application let's see uh, how it is behaving right now so let me just use npm run start and let me just wait till my application gets compiled successfully and now wh what i'm expecting is when i am just placing any order it should take me to the new page and wherever we will get some uh, simple message as of now we will just modify it in a moment but let me just now place the order so let me just fill some of the random details something like this and let me just make the quantity let me just place the order and yes it is now redirecting to the order confirmation component now we just don't want to show this particular message. We want to just uh, show some uh, like so show some sensible message. So let's see how we can change this particular message as well. So now let me just go to the VS code and let me just open the order confirmation component in the HTML. Let me just remove this particular default message. And first thing that we can just do is we can just add one division having the class as container and also we can just add one class that is empty5 so container empty-5 all these classes are bootstrap classes so we are just going to use a bootstrap class empty5 means margin top 5 and as of now let me just give the random text over here let's see how it looks like so now it is looking like this so over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a card so let's see how we can use a card so again using a card is really very simple so let me just use dot card so it will create one new division which is having the class as a card and now over here let me just give some random text so in a random text like suppose if you are using the vs code you can just type a lorem so when you will type lorem and hit the enter it will automatically generate the lorem epsom dummy text so we can just use that dummy text for our testing purpose. Now let me just save it and let's see how it looks like. Now it is looking like this. So we can just apply some padding as well. So let me just do one thing. Let me just apply some padding for card. So over here we can just use P hyphen three or let's suppose five. Let's see how it looks like. So yes, now it is looking like this. So next thing that we are, what we are going to do is we can just change this particular message so let me just change this particular message to something like your order is placed successfully your order is placed successfully 
and we can just say that it will get delivered it will get delivered to you within four to five business days yes so i think this looks this this message looks good so let's see how it will look like on our vs uh, on our uh, ui so let me just go to the ui so it is looking like this so what we can just do is we can just increase the size of this particular uh, text and also we can just take it to the center to make it uh, like more beautiful so let me just apply one more class that is text center something like this and yes it is now at the center and let me just apply the h2 tag let's suppose so we can just apply the h2 or h3 let me just apply h2 and let's see how it looks like okay so let me just apply h1 and let's see how it looks like now I think h1 is uh, more better than h2 so h1 like text is also clearly visible and we can just like it is pretty simple text but it is really very important text because user will get to know that order is placed successfully because previously we were not using any uh, message or any pop-up to uh, to like interact with the user saying that uh, we have like accepted your order and anything so now what we are just doing is we are just showing message to the user so i think this message looks quite good let's try to test it end to end let's suppose if i'm just coming over here and if i'm just filling any uh, details and let me just try to place the order so now here it is saying that your order is placed successfully and it will get delivered to you within four to five business days so now user is getting confirmation that order is placed successfully so like i hope uh, you got the idea like what we are trying to achieve over here again uh, i'm just keeping it as simple as possible if you want you can just show some fancy uh, pop-ups or alerts as well or if you want me to show it you can just let me know into a comment section and we will try to implement that as well but as of now i think this particular simple message will work for us so i think i'm just going to keep it as it is so i hope you got an idea around this concept I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you in the next session.